welcome to Tea Leaks Programming. Today we're programming like it's 1979. We've been exploring the tool chains to program FPGAs natively on macOS. Now, so far, all of the flows we've looked at have used Verilog to program these devices. The question naturally arises, well, what if I want to use VHDL? Can I do that? The answer looks like it's going to be yes, but it also looks like the tool chains are maybe a little bit rougher for that. And I want to make clear I'm reaching the limit of my knowledge of these tool chains. So if I inadvertently say that something isn't possible when really it is, I hope you'll forgive me and we could always do an addendum to this video to show a better workflow than the ones I'm showing you today. Let's take a look. Now we still would like to use our OSS CAD Suite workflow to do this. And the OSS CAD Suite does support VHDL through a plugin that uses the GNU GHDL toolset to do the synthesis. But if we try and run it, at least in the install that I picked up, Using this command line, I've just thrown a VHDL file into this directory that all of the executables are in. Forgive me. We can see that it runs. It runs the GHDL plugin, and we get these errors here where it can't find the various libraries. Now, I am uncertain if this is an inherent problem with the Yosis GHDL integration or if this is a problem with the specific uh, installer that I'm using. I installed this via Nishtahir's Icicle rather than via API.io. So one thing I need to do is I need to circle back and actually try using API.io and see if I get different results. But I did see some discussion on the interwebs from other people encountering the same problem. Now, the interesting thing is that these GHDL libraries uh, are actually shipped with Yosis. It's just that the binary has been compiled in such a way that it doesn't actually know where they are. And as a result, I was actually able to get this working through judicious use of symbolic links to simply link everything to where it should be going. So what are we going to be simulating today? This is just a demo program. I actually took this straight out of OneWare Studio, which I made a video about last week. This is their default um, make an LED blink program. You can see we've got some values here. I changed them to make it a little slower and I changed the entity names to work with the Nanland Go board that we are working with. Just some very simple VHDL. We have done something Let's take a look. We have a JSON file. So now that we have this JSON file from here, the rest of the flow should be the same as our OSS CAD suite flow when we were working in Verilog. Let's see if that works. All right, so after our synthesis step comes our place and route step. Okay, we got something that looks like no error then I think we need to package this into a binary. Hopefully this is going to work. All right. And then we're going to send it out to our FPGA, which I have not plugged in. So let me take care of that. All right. It's iceprog out.bin. It's doing something. And indeed, there is LED number two blinking happily as we wanted it to be. All right, so the good news is that we've seen that with a little bit of elbow grease, the OSS CAD suite does support VHDL. It would be better if that elbow grease wasn't required, but you know, that could be my mistake. Perhaps I made an error in installing it. It is possible. Can we do it from within OneWare Studio? Well, OneWare Studio clearly allows VHDL if the underlying toolchain allows it. 
I will say that I have not yet been able to get this command line workflow working in OneWare Studio. Again, could be my issue. There is, however, uh, a different workflow that in OneWare Studio that does work. So let me show you that. So you can see that I have here my VHDL program. It's actually a slightly different one than one, the one we were looking at. I've tried to build it and I'm encountering some Yosis errors. It feels like I cannot provide the um, arguments, the flags to Yosis that I need to get it to build in VHDL, but there is another way to do it. So I'm going to go up here and go to Extras, Extensions. Now then, we have this wonderful window telling us about the various extensions that are available, and one of them is this GHDL extension. You can see I've already installed it here. So by installing this extension, you get a new menu when you right click on your files called GHDL. That allows you to do a few things. One, it allows you to run a simulation within GHDL. Works a little more slowly than the iVeriLog simulation, but does work. Or you can convert your GHDL to Verilog. So not quite the same as compiling or synthesizing directly with GHDL, but Interesting nonetheless, and another option to check out. All right, well, I'm going to continue to nibble on this uh, FPGA on macOS options. I'm going to continue to explore the space. It does feel like this is, it is clearly a less supported configuration. If you are starting a company and you want to be doing FPGA things in your company, I, I would not in good conscience tell someone, yeah, don't worry, go ahead and use your Macs. If you're a hobbyist and you are experimenting with the technologies, I think it's perfectly viable. Thanks for joining us today. I had fun looking at VHDL and we will continue down this path in future weeks. You're watching Tea Leaves Programming. We're programming like it's 1979. Thanks for watching.